I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. Hong Kong Mahjong is a lot like Remy. You need four blocks in a pair. The blocks can be three in a sequence, three of a kind, or four of a kind. When you play the game, some groups will set a point minimum. For this particular game of solitaire, we're not going to have a minimum. It's going to be zero, zero points. You can win with anything, even a chicken hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. Regardless, we're going to go for the quickest win. When you play at a chicken hand table, no holds barred, so it's a quick game. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. For this player, we have two dots, three cracks, five bams, including a pair, northeast, west wind, and a flower. And it's a one flower. This is player one. We have a fawn already. We'll get a replacement tile from the back of the wall. So for this player, I think I would try for all chow, lickety split, potential chow here, five, six, potential chow with a three, four. We could do maybe a two, one, two, three, or even a six, seven, eight. But here we have what's called a closed weight where you need a tile in the middle. Here we have a side weight where you can complete it with a tile on either side. It's a stronger weight. So we have the same thing here. One, two, three, and then you always need a pair. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. I would hold number tiles for flexibility because you can chow or pung with a number tile. With honors, which are winds and dragons, you could only pair up or pung. So I would get rid of these first. Since we're playing at a chicken hand table, you want to go for the quickest win. In this case, I would say all chow. All chow for east. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. They're in a similar situation, single honors, potential chow, potential chow, pair, potential chow. One, two, three, four blocks. So number tiles will be the way to go here. We'll get rid of the single honors. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. For this player, we have one, two, three pair. I think I would try for a Pung of Dragons. That's a fawn right there. They have no flowers, no flowers here either, and that's a fawn. I wouldn't count on that though, because if you pick a flower and it's not yours, you're not gonna get score. So I think I would probably pung. We'll see what happens. We have one, two, three pair. All pung is not as easy as you think. And that's why I think there's a guideline that says if you have four pair, shoot for all pung. Here we have three pair, so we're short. I think we're gonna have to push. Or we can play just dragon pung and then chow and pung elsewhere. When you do that, the number tiles will have no value. That would be the only value. But if every block in your hand is the same kind of block, like all chow or all pung, that's where you're gonna get more value. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. If we pair up, 
Alpung will be a great way to go. Alpung is three fawn. Dragon Pung alone, one fawn. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. They're in a similar situation as this player. We can Pung for the dragon. Here we have a pair. There's a Chow, isolated tiles here. Dragon Pung alone, maybe. And then a mixture of Chows. We have a potential Chow, potential Pung or pair, chow, one, two, three, four. All we really need in here is a pair. There's a chow right there, one, two, three, potential chow, chow, pung here, maybe pair up here. If you can, either identify a pair in advance or plan a number tile for your pair, not an honor because a lot of times people will hold honors for their value. So we're ready to start. We're gonna discard. We're gonna start by discarding North. I'll use this to mark whose turn it is. Nobody can take the North. This is not a game where you can pick up the tile and hold it. You can only claim a discard to complete a block. And here we have a single North. You cannot claim a discard to complete a pair. It has to be a three of a kind or three in a sequence. So we're gonna draw. Nine dot. That might help with a chow. We're gonna maybe try for chows, I think, here. Let's discard north. Only four of every tile will draw. Four crack. Okay. We have one, two, three pair. Potential chow. There's a chow right there. Let's discard eight dot. Nobody can take it. You can only chow from the player on your left. And this is the player on their right. Because they could do a seven, eight, nine. But only if this player discards it or if they draw it. Seven bam, that could help with a chow. Let's discard south. We don't have to pung here. We could play all chow and use that as our pair. There's a chow, potential chow, chow, potential chow pair. One, two, three, four. We're really one away from ready to win using this as our pair. Let's see what happens. Try to keep your tiles together. Let's draw. Because nobody can take that south. One dot. Okay, let's continue to get rid of these single honors. West. Single. Can't do anything. Seven crack. Number tile. Even though it's isolated, it's going to be more flexible than these. Let's discard West. Six crack, we have a chow. Maybe we could play a half flush. Chow, chow, one, two, three, four, single honors. Let's get rid of South. If you are playing at a chicken hand table, you've got to look more for the quickest win versus value. So here's a chow, here's a chow, potential pung, potential pung, maybe pair here. There's already a four here and there's only four of every tile. And here we may or may not be able to use these as a pair because people will hold them for value. Maybe. So we'll see what happens. South was discarded. Let's draw. Two crack. Okay, there is another potential chow. One, two, three, two, three, three, five. This one is isolated. Let's throw that. Every tile is tied in here somehow. We'll put these in order. 
We could even pung here if we want to. Pung, pung, pung. Let's draw. North. That's been thrown twice. Two band. Okay, there's a pung right there, pung. So we have potential chow, isolated pair, potential chow, or potential chow and a pung. Let's discard green dragon. Okay, now it's this player's turn, but this player could pung. Here we have a one, two, three. Here's a two, three. Six, seven, seven, eight. If we pung and discard, let's say, they would be ready to win on a one or a four. No, no, no. We need more here. They're still a bit away yet. Let's see. They're still a ways away. We need a one cracked for two chows or a four crack or something here. Let's go ahead and pung. So this was the player across from them. Pung. And then let's discard the four, five crack. Five crack, we're one away from ready here. Nobody can take the five crack, except this player could chow. Let's actually chow. This is the player on their left, so they can claim that discard. Chow. We'll discard east. And nobody can take the east, so we will draw. Nine crack. There's a potential chow there. So we have potential everywhere, pair, the eight, eight here is isolated, so let's throw that. Eight bam, and nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Seven crack. I'm kind of thinking, let's see here. Oh, green dragon is out, let's throw that. Green dragon, it's out in a pung, so that's not gonna help. That's a potential pung or a pair. Two potential chows, there's a chow there, or here's a pair and a potential chow. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. It's too many. You only need five, including your pair. So maybe discard that and use this as our pair. One, two, three, four, five. That's all we need. We don't even need that. So let's just see what happens. Green was thrown. You cannot pick it up and add it to your exposure. The only time you can do that is if you draw it yourself. So that will remain a discard. Three bam. That's too far from seven. We're one away from ready. Three bam. Nobody can take it. We have a three, four right there. Three dot. This one is isolated. Let's throw that. We're looking for chows. Potential here, 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 pair. Always got to have a pair, so that'll be a good pair right there. One crack was thrown. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Five crack. There's a chow. Three, four, five. Pair, potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. Since we have a chow, three, four, five, and the seven can be used with the nine. Let's go ahead and get rid of the one crack. Plus it was just thrown. Nobody wanted it. Let's draw. Flower, it's a one, so they won't get value. This is player three. This is player one. Six bam. So I think we're going to get rid of that red dragon. We've got chow potential. One, two, three, four, five, six. Too many, too many potentials here. 
but this is doing no good anyway. Red dragon, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Four dot, we already have a chow, so we'll discard four dot. Nobody can take it. Well, now this player, though, can. Let's chow four, five, six. Chow. And now this is isolated. Eight dot. So we have two potential chows. We could probably get rid of this one bam because we really don't need it. We need a two for one, two, three, and we need a two for two, three, four. But this, we can do two, three, four, or three, four, five. So this is redundant. Eight dot. Oh, let's chow. Chow. That makes this an isolated tile. Five dot. Drawing four west. Five dot. Here we have a chow, six, seven, eight. If you break a chow to make a chow, five, six, seven, you leave an isolated tile, you might as well stay concealed and see if your pick betters your hand. If you break a chow to make a chow and you're left with a way to use that, then take it. In this case, we're going to let it go. Four dot, that's already been thrown. We need a two. Seven crack. Nobody can take it. And that was the last tile of the second wall. We're going into the middle game, which is the third wall. Everybody should know what they're playing. Here we're playing all chow. Here we're playing all chow. All chow, dragon pung. So all these are number tiles, unless we pair up and pung, will be of no value. If we pair up again, we might be able to play all pung because we do have two pair here. So we'll see what happens. All pung is three fawn, which is a nice hand. South. Aid crack. Okay, they got a chow in there. We could maybe pung. Here's a chow. Seven, eight, nine, chow, four, five, six. Here's a chow, two, three, four. We do need a pair in here still. We could maybe use that as our pair. Discard the nine crack and be ready on a five bam for all chow. Let's be ready to win by discarding nine crack. Ready to win on a five bam. We're using the dragon as our pair. Nine crack, nobody can take it. Seven dot, we're good there. They're ready to win on a, no, they have, they're one away still. They need to chow here or in here. Four crack. Four crack. We have a chow right there. Here's a potential chow pair. Seven, eight, nine, or five, seven. If we take that three, four, five, we would leave an isolated four. We're better to draw. So we're, we're going to let that four crack go. This would be that example of breaking a chow to make a chow. We're going to break that to make it with the same tile, leaving an isolated tile, we might as well draw. Seven dot. Didn't pay off that time. So seven dot was discarded. Six crack. We're ready to win on a five bam. Let's let this go. Six crack. We're ready to win on a five bam right there. 
six crack, nobody can take it. Nine crack. Nobody can take it. Six crack. East. Five bam. Self pick mahjong. We mahjong by drawing it ourselves right there. I'll put it upright to show that we picked it ourselves. Oh, and they're concealed. They do have a flower, but it's of no value because it's a one. That's this player's flower. So we have all chow concealed. For all chow, that is one fawn. For all concealed, that is one fawn. We have mixed suits, so this is two fawn. Two fawn is four points. Self pick, everybody pays eight points. This player was one away from ready. We needed a two dot or a five bam. Here, chow, they were one away from ready also. Eight crack, one or four bam needed to get ready. Here we were one away from ready as well. We needed a one crack, four crack, six bam or nine bam. So it was a pretty close race. All chows. Well, this one has chows, but they also have a pung of dragons. That's what they were going for. But their 2-3 didn't come in because they're here and in the wall. play mahjong there's a lot of flexibility there you can play depending on the point minimum all chow all pung half flush full flush those are some go-to combinations if you want to learn more about scoring download this player reference and practice online at mahjong time i do have some 30-day vip codes you can try it out for free just look for my email in the video description below if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.